What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thank you to the guys over at Easy SMX. we're going to be taking a look at their wireless gaming controller, the KC8236. So, the guys over at Easy SMX contacted me and said, we'd like to send you over a couple of things. One of which was this. It is a wireless 2.4 gig gaming controller. Um, I would show you the packaging, unfortunately they basically stuck it in a plastic bag and threw it in the post to me, all the way from uh, the Far East. It didn't survive the packaging, so what we've got in the box is this. There was a, bit, a little bit of paperwork, things like that, but nothing important. These are the main three things that you get in the box and the main three things that you need. The controller, a 2.4 gig wireless dongle, and a micro USB cable. So the actual controller, if you take a look at it, very similar to an Xbox One controller. Okay, so we've got a couple of shoulder triggers, we've got a couple of shoulder buttons, a pair of thumbsticks, a D-pad, and your X, Y, A, and B, as well as a center button for home and back and start. Controller itself though, well built. The switches rattle a little bit, but Xbox controllers do that. All screwed together, nice ergonomics. It's got rubber side grips, which I quite liked. Okay, and the back, unlike the Xbox controller, actually sculpted. As you can see, there is some sculpted there, and it fits. It does actually fit in the hand very well. Um, this particular model is painted sort of like a, a very, it's almost blue, metallic dark blue. Um, overall, it feels quite well. The little dongle. There's no drivers or anything to install. Simply plug that into your computer and you press the middle button, just as you do on an Xbox controller. You plug that in, that stops flashing and goes solid blue and you connect it and you use it as an Xbox controller. Um, no batteries or anything to put into this thing. It is actually rechargeable and I found it lasted a very long time. <coughs> Sorry, bit ill again, but hey, videos have to be made. So. I never actually had a single issue with this controller. I was really surprised. This is £22 on Amazon with Prime, so you can have it delivered for free if you have an account with them. And yeah, let's actually grab. There we go. I have an original Xbox One controller. And okay, this is lighter. This feels very heavy compared to this. It's actually smaller. Um, Mostly just a little bit missing at the top here, a little bit, it's more rounded. Um, do the switches and things feel better? No, no, I must admit the I prefer the Xbox, tri especially the triggers. The triggers on the um, original Xbox controllers are so buttery smooth. These, it's not less smooth, but they're a bit, they're a bit hollow, they're a bit clicky clicky. Um, compared to an original Xbox, which is sort of, it's not dampened, but it's quiet and quality. But this is like half the price of an original Xbox controller. Okay, now I do have an original Xbox One controller. I do actually have to use a dongle. If you have the new ones, uh, I believe they connect with Bluetooth straight to a PC anyway, so you don't need a dongle. But this does use a very reliable, from what I found, 2.4 gig dongle. Didn't have any issues with it con um, not connecting or anything like that. It's a £22 Xbox controller. Well, not Xbox, PC controller. No, simulates an Xbox controller. I really like it's got the fact that it's rechargeable. You don't have to stick double A's or buy extra battery packs or anything like that for it. Overall, the build quality is very nice. I did find it gets, it feels a bit warm in the hand after a while, mostly because it's gloss, um, gloss painted. And as such, it gets a bit sweaty. It does have nice rubber side grips, which do you, it never feels slippery, but it does feel warm. Unlike the Xbox controller, which although it doesn't have any um, grips or anything on it, because of the matte finish, it holds better. A bit weird to describe, but yeah. But overall, I've got to say, the Easy SMX is it's a nice little controller, actually. It's the sort of thing, take with you, it's cheap. It's £22. Um, if you're not an avid controller person and don't want to go out for an Xbox Elite um, controller, and they're like over £100, this is a great little option. 
Um, if I was in the market for actually buying a controller and didn't have an Xbox One, it's the reason I have an Xbox One controller, I would buy this over an Xbox One controller if I'm honest, because this is like double the price. This is 99% as good. Um, and in fact, I'd say in some ways actually better than an Xbox controller out of the box because it's rechargeable. You have to put batteries in an Xbox controller or you have to go out and buy a battery pack. But yeah, overall, this fantastic little thing from Easy SMX. When, I, when they said they were going to send it to me, I was like, hmm, really? It's a 20 quid controller. It's not going to be much actually really surprised me. I quite like it. Um, ergonomics on it are great. I quite like the sculpting on the back. They do fit your fingers really well. The buttons are all very solid. There's no, like I say, the, the triggers are do feel a little bit cheaper compared to an Xbox trigger. Um, but that's the only place you really notice it. The, the thumbsticks are all nice, smooth, no graunchiness or anything to them. Same with the D-pad. All in all, it's a really nice feeling little controller. So, that's about it for today. There's not a massive amount I can say about a controller. It's cheap. It works. It feels good. Yeah. Big thumbs up, actually. Um, like I say, if you're in the market for a cheap controller, you don't want to splash out on either a, an original Xbox controller. They are quite expensive to buy on their own. Or an Xbox Elite or anything like that. Just something to dip your toes in. If you've got that one game that needs, or you want to play a racing game, and you don't really play racing games, something like that will do the job for you. So there we go, what I'm going to do, I am going to stick a link down below to Amazon where you can pick one of these up, like I said, for 22 quid. And uh, that's about it for today. So there we go, the Easy SMX KC8236. Big thumbs up. Now if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, not a problem. As always, any comments, questions or suggestions, do leave them down below. I always try and take my time to answer them. And if you want to see more of me, hey, you might be unlucky. Um, do click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I stick a video up. On that note guys, thank you very much and bye for now.